Oh god, that sounds oh. horrible. Oh my god. Right, what, what, are you, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Oh my I'm goodness. eating some fucking cake and chicken with beans and cream and pita bread, Lacey. Oh my, that's oh. revolting. Oh. It's why, fucking delicious. Why, Let's get some of that cream and the cake and all that. Why, oh. though? Oh, oh god, you've been watching Kelly Jean drink water again, haven't you? I have, yeah. She's a terrible you influence, boy. No, Lacey, she's made me realise that being fat is actually really good for you. In fact, it might be better than being in shape. So I figure... That's ridiculous. I'll eat anything I want all the time now. No, that's stupid. My favourites are cake and chicken, man. They go so well together. Okay, right, well... Cake I... and then chicken. Uh-huh. Right, well, I bought this stuff, so are you going to pay me back for it? No. No, you, I want you to pay me back for this, Roy. No. Right, then stop eating my stuff. No, Lacey. Get off my pit of bread! You ripped my pit of bread, you fuck! It's my fucking pit of bread! Hello, everybody. It's definitely your boy, Troy, Troy. here. Lacey is Troy's caretaker and allows him to be on skits sometimes. <laughs> Troy, Troy, I said Lacey. Dude, are you, are you, are you calling me Troy on purpose, by the way? I'm calling you Troy. Lacey. And today, me and Lacey have decided to cover a very heavy topic. <sighs> Jesus Christ, is that a pint of tea? Yeah, I'm British. So, first things first, we want to make it clear who this video is actually aimed at. Yeah, if you're a fat person and you're trying to lose weight, this video is not aimed at you. If you're a fat person and you don't give a fuck that you're a fat person and you're content to be fat, again, this is not aimed at you. We know that numerous things can lead to people being overweight, and it can be extremely hard to lose that excess weight, and we would never, ever mock someone for being obese. But we would mock someone called Kelly Drinkwater. I'm not sure if any of you have noticed, but I'm fat. Kinda wish we had a prop tumbleweed. When I walked out on stage, some of you may have been thinking, oh, this is going to be hilarious, because everybody knows that fat people are funny. Well, women aren't funny, so that kind of cancels out your fat funny powers. Women are kind of like kryptonite to comedy. They just fucking suck it out of the room. Or you may have been thinking, where does she get her confidence from? Because a confident fat woman is almost unthinkable. Not really. I mean, I understand most fat people are somewhat unconfident in their appearance. However, when it comes to an intellectual level, ideas, opinions, they're just as confident as anyone else generally. But I really don't think you have any cause to be confident in your opinions, or ideas for that matter. You may have wondered, consciously or not, if I have diabetes, or a partner, or if I eat carbs after 7pm. These judgments are insidious, and this way of thinking is known as fat phobia. Fart phobia. Are you afraid of fart people? I fear nothing, Lacey. Except for moths. I am truly terrified of moths. You think I prance around the place a lot? You should see him when one of those things flatters into the room. You know, if we ever open a P.O. box, mm. people are just going to send you moths now. D don't send me moths. I fucking hate moths. We live in a culture where being fat is seen as being a bad person. Interesting. See, I thought that rapists, murderers and child molesters were bad people. Yeah, I mean, she's clearly trying to twist things to get people on her side. Oh, I'm fat and you see me as a bad person. No, we see it as a bad thing to be fat because it's bad for you, you stupid cunt. And we tend to see thinness as being universally good. Well, that depends. How thin are we talking? Because anorexia is seen as pretty bad as well. Yeah, what we see as universally good is people being a healthy weight. Because, you know, it scientifically is, you fucking cretin. You big fat moose. <laughs> We see these ideas again and again in the media, in public health policy, 
doctor's offices. Yes, it kind of hurts my feelings, so I'm just going to spit in the face of well-known fact. Fuck them doctors. Fucking retarded quacks. What do they know? You know, only them people whose jobs it is to be highly knowledgeable on matters of health. I, I know better than them. Oh no, my kneecap just imploded because I stood up too fast. Lacey here is a smoker. And he knows that smoking is not terribly good for your health. And as you may notice, he's never tried to cast the habit in a positive light. I mean... Oh, we all know that smoking looks seriously cool, granted, but is it worth it? Thinking about it, it probably, yeah, it is worth it, because, I mean, do you want to look like a lame-oid cook for 80 years of your life? Or would you rather look like a badass Fonzie-type character for 60 years of your life? Oh god, I look cool as fuck, man. Kids, you want to start smoking because you just look brilliant. Get yourself a leather jacket, put the collar up though. <coughs> Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday. I think it's worth it. I'd choose funds. And do we really want to live in a society where people are denied their basic humanity? Oh, for fuck's sake, not this again. What human rights are you denied? Yeah, I mean, I think, Lacey, what this boils down to is stop being mean to me please you've gotten to the point where you've fallen off the logic wagon so hard because she is a big lady when someone says to you i don't think it's a good idea to be fat because it's bad for your health you see that as having your humanity denied somehow dissenting opinions are just the worst I am part of an international community of people who choose to, rather than passively accepting that our bodies are, and probably always will be big, we actively choose to flourish in these bodies as they are today. Oh, did you hear that, darling? They're not going to passively accept their obesity. They're going to flourish in it instead. I'm pretty sure, Lacey, that it's the exact same fucking thing. All you've done there is you've used some deceptive language to try and make it sound like a positive. When in actuality, what you're saying is, fuck it, I'm fat, I ain't gonna do shit about it. Which in itself is fine, just stop trying to bullshit people. You can't even call these people handicapped anymore, they'll say, we're not handicapped, we're handicapable. <laughs> these poor people have been bullshitted by the system into believing that if you change the name of the condition, somehow you'll change the condition. People who honour our strength and work with, not against, our perceived limitations. Lacey, could you be a dear and translate what she just said from Newspeak into English for our viewers? Fuck it. Yes, fat people have limitations, but instead of trying to do anything about it, I'm just going to bow down to them because I can't be bothered trying to better myself, but I just don't want it to sound like that's what I'm saying. Instead, we value mental health, self-worth, and how we feel in our bodies. Yes, of course, mental health is very, very important, but your solution only represents half of the problem. Mental health and physical health are very much connected. Mm, it's quite an ignorant and dangerous thing to insinuate that you can be a fucking wreck physically, but just be ecstatic mentally. It doesn't really work that way for many people. And I wanted to ask people, like, down the front there, you're, you who's 20, are you, is your life better? Are you happier? Is, is everything better now that you're slightly smaller than you were before? I mean, I think one of the things Well, that... let, let's get an answer to the question. Are you? Absolutely. And I'm not a little bit smaller. I'm a lot smaller. And I did, I did do research into everything. I can still have kids. And that may not have happened if I had stayed the size I was. People who refuse to believe that living in these fat bodies is a barrier to anything, really. <sighs> Unfortunately, though, th there are actually quite a lot of barriers when it comes to being a fat person. Some of these include... An Olympic swimmer. Astronaut. Professional footballer. A soldier. A gymnast. Personal trainer. Catwoman. Batman. Ninja. A tightrope walker. Enjoying a roller coaster. They can play the role of Barbie, however. They didn't want her to be an anorexic moron anymore, so they chose a fat moron to play her instead. Problem solved, everybody! There are doctors, 
academics and bloggers who have written countless volumes on the many facets of this complex subject. Yeah, you clearly haven't read any of them. I have been told that I'm glorifying obesity. Oh, so she's actually going to dress it and provide a counter-argument, darling. Uh-huh, this is what we've been waiting for, Lacey. I have received violent death threats and abuse for daring to make work that centers fat people's bodies and lives. Well, shit, she skipped right over the main point that everybody actually has against her. Yeah, I guess, why try to clumsily not undermine your own argument when you can just try to make people feel sorry for you instead? Fuck it! Though at least she never actually claimed to be healthy, did she? I don't think she did, actually. At least she's not a total bullshit merchant. Like, my question to you is, can you honestly say that you are 100% happy and healthy? Like, you have no medical conditions whatsoever. You have no problems at all with your health. Like at your okay, weight we as answer? compared to... Can we have an answer? No, no, no. Let's... The question's been asked. What's the answer? Um, I think it's really interesting that I feel like I need to justify my existence in this room No, but right hang on now. a minute. No, that didn't have anything to do with the question, you cunt. She's just another professional victim. It's like, oh, I find the questions you're asking me scary, so I'm gonna fucking stamp my feet. And when she stamps her feet, she makes some serious fucking noise, let me tell you. So you're completely I swim deliberate. two and a half kilometres a day. I walk, uh, I exercise all the time. Well, not enough. Roy's an alcoholic. What? But can you imagine if we had the same philosophy as Kelly Drinkwater? <sighs> <sighs> oh, come on, Lacey, keep, keep drinking. <clears throat> Come on, drink more, Lacey. You've, we need to get through a million units of alcohol today. I hate my life is the What? I hate my life Maybe you should smoke some more as well. Listen, it's it's practically good for you to be constantly pissed and full of smoke. I think I'm dying. Who cares what they say in the doctors, Lacey? Fuck them. They don't know anything. It's great to be a drunk. I think I'm literally dying. Oh, you fucking pussy, Lacey. You pussy. I'm still rocking it. Okay, Lacey, I'm... Fucking hell, Lacey. I go shop for a second to get some faggy waggies and some more booze and you fucking pass out on me like a pussy? Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Kids, don't be like this. You need to keep going. Push yourself through the pain barrier even when your liver's literally trying to fuck off on you. Grab that son of a bitch and keep it in. Hang on. He's got a breathe still though, so I reckon, even though he's passed out, I may be able to get some smoke into these lungs. Mm, nice, 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 okay. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, okay. He's smoking without even knowing it. Oh, what's this? Oh, dark rum. Say liquor. Mm. So in conclusion, if you're fat and you don't give a fuck, you just accept it, then good on you. But it does become a problem when you start spreading a message that could be harmful to other people. There are a lot of weak-minded people out there that are going to want to believe what you're saying because fuck it, it's, it's easier. And, and you're enabling them. Stop enabling them, you enabler. You're being problematic. So if any of our subscribers are trying to lose weight, just know, me and Lacey are with you in spirit, and we hope you fucking kill it. Just please don't listen to Kelly Drinkwater. She actively facts people over because she can't handle simple truths. So that's the end of the video, you greedy fat cunts. Thank you very much for watching. We've actually had a few sort of requests to do a Q&A video, uh, which we think could actually be okay. So if you want to leave a question down in the comment section, we'll try to answer as many of them as we possibly can. Yeah, then we'll upload it soon. It'll be like a little bonus video. It won't take over an actual main video. It'll just be somewhere in the week. Come now, Lacey. Let's carry on working on our song about fat acceptance. We've artfully called it The Indulgent Moose. Three, two, one, and... Mm -hmm.